Let's begin by setting up and disinfecting the workstation. Using a spray bottle, spray 10% bleach onto the workstation and wipe it with a paper towel. Spray the 10% bleach on a new piece of paper and wipe down the machines, pipette, marker, and pipette box. Ensure that the equipment is wiped dry and no bleach residue remains. We can proceed to testing samples. To prepare the rapid heater, switch it on and press the green button to start the automated heating mode. The heater will beep when it reaches 80 degrees Celsius. Press the green button to mute it. Prepare the lysis buffer for the prawn sample lysis. To test the prawn samples, peel the shell off the prawn head to expose the hepatopancreas. Using your fingers, transfer as much of the hepatopancreas into the lysis buffer. Using the disposable sample grinder, mash the hepatopancreas in the lysis buffer until it dissolves evenly. Cap the lid tightly and give it a shake and flick before placing the tube into the heater. For the rapid heater, ensure the acrylic cover is in place and press the red button to start the lysis process. After lysis is complete, take out the sample from the rapid heater, replace the lid and press the red button to cool the heat block for the next step. Open and close the lysis buffer to degas it and give it a mix and flick. Prepare the extraction stick. Insert the white portion of the extraction stick into the lysis buffer and stir lightly for 12 seconds. Let the stick stand for two minutes for DNA binding. Ensure you don't touch the white portion of the stick. Prepare wash buffer one and wash buffer two. After the two minutes are up, take the stick and whisk vigorously in washing buffer one for 12 seconds, followed immediately by washing buffer two for 12 seconds. Leave the stick to dry completely at ambient temperature. When it is dry, the coating on the tip of the stick will return to white. Ensure you don't touch the white coating. It is important to let the stick fully dry. Prepare the elution buffer. Once the stick is completely dry, insert into the elution buffer and whisk vigorously for 12 seconds. Cap the elution buffer tightly and give it a shake and flick to ensure everything is evenly mixed. The four lamp beads that are included are PC green, EHB blue, EMS slash HBND orange, and WSSB yellow. Using the marker, write a plus on the top of each tube. Using a new pipette tip, transfer 25 microliter of elution buffer into each lamp reaction tube. Flick the tube to ensure that all liquid settles at the bottom of the tube. Once completed, place the tubes into the rapid heater, ensuring that the heater is at 65 degrees Celsius. Cover the reaction tube with both the metal and acrylic lids. Press the red button to begin the amplification process. After 40 minutes, transfer the tubes out of the heater and turn off the machine. Let the tubes cool for five minutes. After the five minutes, flick the tubes to bring the liquid to the bottom of the tube. Turn on the rapid reader and press the green button to start. Press the red button to select the disease to be tested. Place the respective tube into the reader with the latch fit into the hinge. Then press the green button to continue. Press the red button to take the result. Make sure the lid is closed completely during the reading. The screen will indicate a positive or negative result. Repeat this for all tubes. Note down the results.